No doctor's note, you got to wear a mask. Hillsborough County School Board changing COVID-19 policies yet again. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Ryan Bass. Good to have you here with us. They did it because there's over 10,000 students quarantining just short of two weeks into the school year. So starting tomorrow and for the next 30 days, your child needs a doctor's note to opt out of masking up. And tonight, Miami-Dade approved the same policy. These are all the Florida districts with mandates that only let parents opt out if their child has medical reasons, which includes Broward and Alachua counties who were criticized by the state board yesterday saying they are violating our laws. No word on penalties just yet. 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Clough brings us inside the emergency meeting explaining what you need to know before sending your kids to school. My kids and all kids in this district are not safe. It's tyranny. We are drowning in the ER. My child will not spend the rest of the year or another minute wearing a mask. You're putting children at high risk. I direct the health of my children, you educate them. If you could mandate masks 100% last year, you can mandate it again this year. The Delta variant's different. Whether you are for. I beg you to institute a real mask mandate. Or against. You cannot breathe, children need oxygen. Over 80 people took this stand, sharing their opinions Have and courage. emotions on masks in schools. It's really heartbreaking watching our babies not feeling well, especially for something that could have been prevented. Regardless of what you believe, it's up to these school board members. The cost now of inaction will endanger the health and safety of our students. Money. A big reason why Superintendent Addison Davis wanted to follow the governor's executive order, allowing parents to choose. My recommendation was to follow the executive order. I made that very clear. On top of potentially losing funding, he's worried he could lose his job. Being able to go against testor requirements, Department of Health, the, the Surgeon General, all those types of things for me, it creates heartache. A 5-2 to two vote did just that. Board members voted in favor of requiring masks for all students giving parents the choice of a medical opt-out. Make sure that we're doing everything that we can do to subtract the spread of the virus. Two board members did vote no. But there is an executive order that exists, and it's been made very clear. And just because Miami-Dade jumped off of a cliff doesn't mean we have to jump off a cliff with them. Majority rules, mandating masks in all Hillsborough public schools for 30 days. It's only 30 days, and while it may be uncomfortable, I get it. No one wants to wear a mask for those who uh, you know, aspire not to, but sometimes we've got to do something that's greater for the community. The new rule goes into effect tomorrow with a 48-hour grace period. That will allow parents to opt or adopt. And Sarasota is set to meet to discuss its COVID-19 policies Friday afternoon.